So I will turn the microphone over to our county executive, Calvin Ball. Thank you very much, Sherry. And good morning, everyone. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to recognize a few of the folks behind me. Uh, we have our state's attorney, Rich Gibson, our sheriff, Marcus Harris. Uh, in the audience, we have Sue Emerson from the Police Foundation, Andrew Hall, the past chair of the Citizens Advisory Council. I'd like to thank all of our officers and everyone for joining us this morning. And especially thank you for your important work when it comes to public safety here in Howard County, throughout the state and the region. Here in Howard County, our police department is one of the best in the nation. And we have a reputation as one of the safest communities in the nation. Since 2018, Columbia has been named the safest city in America every year. Public safety has remained a top priority, though, because we know that if we don't feel safe, none of those awards and accolades matter. We've continued a holistic approach to public safety, understanding the importance of economic mobility, education, and strong community ties while working to ensure our police force and public safety partners have the resources and support necessary to garner the public trust and be successful. For the past three years, we've seen marked progress, as you can see on these boards behind us, in reducing crime and making sure our residents are safe and feel safe. Since 2017, we're seeing trends of decrease in crime across many categories, including robbery, aggra aggravated assault, burglary, and auto theft. Our success is a testament to the hard work of our police department and other public safety partners, many of whom are here today. This success would not be possible without our departing Police Chief Lisa Myers. I want to take a moment to thank Chief Myers for her 31 years of service to the Howard County Police Department and our community. Now, During the past 20 months of the COVID-19 pandemic, the commitment of our officers was clear. Many of our officers are involved in stressful, difficult, argumentative and dangerous situations, often with strangers. Going into situations where people may be having the worst days of their life. Oftentimes, their success is quiet. And so I want to especially thank those who have faced the increasing challenges and obstacles of policing during a pandemic. The continued success of our police department is vital to the well-being of our community. And I expect under the new leadership of our new chief, we will continue to be a model for other departments across our nation. We are not just following best practices here in Howard County. We're creating best practices for the nation. We will work on our progress of building community partnerships, ensuring the safety of our vulnerable populations, and our commitment to community policing will continue. And that's why I'm here today proud to announce the next chief of our Howard County Police Department is Gregory Durr. Chief Durr will return to the Howard County Police Department beginning January 1st, and we are very pleased that Chief Myers has agreed to delay her well-deserved retirement until he is able to step into that role as chief. 
Gregory is the best person for the job and brings nearly 25 years of experience to this position. With roles ranging from patrol level enforcement here in Howard County to command administration. He served for 18 years in our police department as a school resource officer, hostage negotiator, property crime detective, and fire and explosives investigator. His latest role was as chief deputy for the Maryland State Fire Marshal, where he has demonstrated effective collaboration among first responders and public safety personnel to investigate fires and coordinate statewide fire prevention. As a graduate of Howard County Public School System and a lifelong Howard County resident, he knows our community, what makes and what it'll take to make this role so important. As our first police chief of Asian American descent, he truly understands that our diversity, our inclusivity, and our commitment to building strong bonds with every part of our community are all important values that will help improve the quality of life for all. I've known Greg for nearly 15 years and he has stood out as a thoughtful, determined, and collaborative leader who will guide our police department into the future. In these challenging times for our police officers, when crimes from human trafficking to online scams are becoming more pervasive and complex, Greg's leadership traits and his ability to build strong bonds with our community make him the best person for the job. We will continue to do more to keep our community safe, our officers safe, and your families safe. I very much look forward to working closely with Chief Durr and continuing to ensure that Howard County is the safest community in our nation for all. And with that, it is my honor to turn this mic over as we welcome our new police chief, Greg Durr. I'll be doing this a lot, moving the microphone down a little bit from our county executive. Um, I'm humbled and honored to have been selected by County Executive Ball to lead what I and many others believe is one of the finest law enforcement agencies in our nation. It will be a true pleasure to return to the department from which I retired and could not be happier to come home to the Howard County Police Department. I retired from the agency in 2017 and I'm already familiar with the high caliber of competence and public safety that our officers, supervisors, civilian staff bring to the citizens of Howard County. After graduating from Mount Hebron High School and worked in the Howard County Police Department for 19 years, I am personally invested in the success of our agency and I know what our citizens rightfully expect of us. Our county has been ranked among the safest in the nation and our frontline officers deserve credit for their tireless work to improve Howard County's quality of life. I will provide any leadership and support that is necessary to ensure that this vital mission continues. Howard County has many positive traits, but perhaps one of the most unique and important of these qualities is the strong bond that has been forged between our officers and the citizens we serve. It is my intention to prioritize these positive relationships as well as build them out to all segments of our community. This agency has always been in the cutting edge of law enforcement. It has been truly inspiring to watch the Howard County Police Department act as a model for how law enforcement agencies should navigate public health emergencies. Innovations like careful, limited use of drone technology to enhance safety at major incidents as well as the push for energy efficient police vehicles represent cutting edge of high quality, cost effective law enforcement. It is a privilege to follow in the footsteps of Chief Myers, who deserves high praise for her leadership over the past three years. I'd also like to thank County Executive Ball for the opportunity 
to be chief and lead and be with chief and be successful with chief myers as a newly appointed chief it will be my responsibility to earn the trust of the officers and citizens of howard county words are meaningless without corresponding actions and i will work and listen hard to gain the confidence of our community as well as the men and women of the Howard County Police Department. Together we will strive to keep our county one of the safest communities in the nation. I look forward to serving each of you and thank you for your time and, your, and it's an honor to serve. Thank you. Thank you, incoming Chief Durr. And now we'll have a few words from our current Chief of Police, Lisa Myers. Good morning, everyone. It is my absolute honor to join you today as we welcome Greg Durr as the next chief of the Howard County Police Department. I have had the distinct pleasure of working closely with Greg over the years, and I know that he has spent a career dedicated to public safety. Greg is engaged in the community. He understands the importance of collaboration to ensure our citizens receive the best possible service. I know that he will be committed to keeping Howard County safe through innovative policing strategies and maintaining strong community partnerships. I look forward to working with Greg over the next few weeks to ensure a seamless transition in leadership as our department continues to evolve and grow toward the future. I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to thank County Executive Ball for your leadership, for your vision, and for your courage to make history in appointing me as the Chief of Police. It is his unyielding support that has significantly attributed to our agency's continued success over the last three years. I am grateful for the contributions of every member of this police department and our amazing command staff, as well as our community partners. And I want Chief Durr to know that we all stand ready to support him in his success. On behalf of the members of the Howard County Police family, I would like to congratulate Greg and extend him a very warm welcome back. Part of our continuing success at the police department um, is our partnerships with other law enforcement agencies here in the county. So next we will hear from the state's attorney for Howard County, Rich Gibson. Good morning, everyone. Chief Myers has announced her retirement and her loss will be felt in the community, within the police force, and in the state's attorney's office. She's extremely large shoes to fill. Our office has enjoyed an unprecedented level of collaboration during her tenure. We've worked tirelessly and seamlessly to better serve the community. This is worthy of highlighting because there are many jurisdictions, both within the state of Maryland and without, where police prosecutor's offices don't work so well together. The selection of Greg Durr is comforting because I'm sure that he recognizes and will prioritize the need to maintain our collaborative relationships, which in turn means better results for and a safer Howard County. I know Greg personally. I've known him for approximately eight years. He has the integrity and the commitment to keeping this community safe. He has 24 years of experience in law enforcement, including time as an SRO, school resource officer, and a decade spent as a hostage negotiator with the Howard County Police Department, which gives him the communication skills necessary to navigate difficult situations, which is no small part of the Chief of Police duties. I welcome him as a partner and look forward to maintaining the relationships and collaborative approach to law enforcement that exist in this county. Welcome, Chief Durr. And finally, I'd like to welcome to the podium Sheriff Marcus Harris. Good 
Good morning, everyone. First, I'd like to thank our county executive for giving me a moment to speak this morning. I will not repeat Chief Durr's resume. I think we heard it. Um, but, you know, I've known uh, Greg for approximately three years. He was very supportive of me in 2018, and I'm going to be very supportive of him now. I know that Greg will do a great job as the next chief of police here in Howard County. And I'm looking forward to continuing our partnership that I built with Chief Myers. Um, we've worked well together. She's allowed us to move our agency forward. And I'm sure that we will have the same thing with uh, Chief Durr. So congratulations. At this time, we'll open it up to questions from the media. So the crime that's down on the board behind you, uh, Chief, what do you attribute the decline to? The question is about the decline in crime, as indicated on these charts, to Chief Myers about what she attributes uh, to that reduction. Thank you. So like you said, I do attribute it to a multitude of things. Crime overall has been on a downward trend over the last 10 years. We spend um, a lot of resources in making sure our officers are trained well. Um, we also work at building strong relationships with our community. So we're working with our community to proactively provide information on how to stay safe and working with our community to receive information. The other piece is we're always looking at innovative crime strategies. Um, it is important to have a county executive that supports us in our investment for technology and training to ensure we're doing the best possible job job to do everything to keep our community safe. And one other question for you, what's, what's next in your life? I am going to try my hand at doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> it will be nice. <laughs> Are there any other questions before we conclude? Hearing none, I'll just say thank you all so much for being a part of this exciting announcement today, and you know how to reach us if you have any additional questions. Thank you.